hello guys this is the command welcome to my new video and before going into the video this video gonna be into two parts and in the first part i'll be explaining you what is hr async and what the what are the different kinds of jobs that are there in hr async and in the next video i'll be telling how do you map uh, the fields uh, from employee central to employee profile by hr async and where can you find this mapping in employee central system so let's get into the theory part so first of all uh, what is hr async so hr async is uh, transferring the data from employee central to employee profile and later that data is going to be used by various other modules like performance management goal management learning management recruitment recruitment marketing onboarding various other modules right so employee central in the sense uh, you can tell whatever the data th that is uh, there in employee central system like personal information biographical information national id information employment details job information compensation information that is called as employee central record system of record and coming to employee profile that is the basic user data uh, you can take it as an example like if you go to EC system and if you click on employee export then you wanna get a basic user data file right that is called as employee profile that means you are linking a field from employee central that is the record from employee central system to employee profile that is the user data file like a linkage of field between employee central to employee profile so whatever data comes into this field is gonna transfer to the following field and this field data is gonna be used by various other modules like performance management learning management goal management recruitment and all and the next one is what are the different kinds of jobs you can find in HR sync so there are three kinds of jobs in HR sync that is daily HR sync job full HR sync job and real time scenario sync job daily sync job uh, by the name itself you can know that the job will run daily so whatever there is a data change to the particular field which is being mapped to the employee profile then automatically this job runs daily at a particular schedule time so whenever there is a change on a particular day think that tomorrow there is a change to a particular field that is being mapped to employee profile so tomorrow at a particular time this job will run that is the daily timing so at that time it will sync the following chain and link the field to the employee profile and transfer the same data to the field that was mapped to employee central like employee central to employee profile and coming to the next kind of job that is full HRA sync job so this is the standard job which was uh, defaulted by SAP and full HRA sync is where it will sync all the levels of uh, fields like in various portlets like whatever the change is there in that particular portlet or particular data it will sync the following change to the employee profile and coming to the third job that is real time sync integration job by the name itself you can know this is a real time job like uh, tomorrow is 2nd july and if i am trying to change a particular field i have created an effective date record that will come into effect tomorrow so you may think that there is a mapping between employee central field to employee profile field so there is a change tomorrow right so at that particular time if i am changing it right now creating a record and changing the value then automatically it will be uh, the job will be running immediately instantly that means whenever you are making any particular change instantly a job will be triggered that is called as real time so whenever you do an action obviously there is a reaction from this job like if you are doing any action now automatically it will this will trigger the job and it will the real time sync job will be running from it so these are the different uh, kinds of jobs in HR async so in this video I told you about what is HR async and what are different types of jobs in HR async 
as per theory level this is more than enough to define what is hri sync and all and uh, in the next video i'll be telling uh, how to map a field from employee central to employee profile and also we can you find the mapping in employee central system so that's the end of today's video hope this video helps you in uh, theoretical part and yeah thank you see you soon with another new video